the same is it the same link i've been sharing on my timeline yeah they'll find it it's it's you can share it now you can go to my page and share it now this is the right one okay no it was a different link the last one i sent would have disappeared because i deleted it all right let's see here hang on i think yeah let me use the the last link you sent yeah use the last link we're live now so anything you say can and will be held against you <laughs> I, there's no problem with that all right looks like we got some people in the house okay i want to share the link with uh yeah, on my timeline right? we got three people in okay uh, all all kinds. let me see here it's on the page it's it's, it's uh it's there I found it. Let me see. You find it? Yep. Hell, I can't find it. It's not shown up on my page. I went to the one you sent on the on the inbox. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, actually, the one I just sent you, the one I sent you is for you, not for the audience. <laughs> oh. <laughs> delete it <laughs> delete it I, mean, I, have a... I, was, I, was, I was about to post it i was about to post it okay yeah just go, go to yeah. my page it should be on my page although i'm not seeing it on my page but i saw i saw it pop up well there's people in the house there's five people here so okay oh man i've been having all kinds of problems it's got on my nerves today all right i got knocked off the last show uh now i can see it here let's stay here let me get yeah you can see it yeah there's eight people there so we're here. hey laurel gay all right let's see here let me uh let me try something here let me try something now in 23 minutes i'm gonna have to pop off and you're gonna have to keep going by yourself uh, just for like five minutes i'm gonna have to start another show but I just got to get her in the studio. Let's see here. Let's do a little, uh, do a little something like this here. Here we go. 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 Okay. Okay, I'm done. Ooh. You want to open it up with a little wrap? <laughs> yeah. So speak. Moment of truth, yeah. From the youth, yeah. This is what we do, yeah. This is what we do. Okay. Uh, today, I woke up feeling better. I woke up feeling like I've been blessed with a life so divine, and I take the prize and I use my time for the elevation of the state of mind. My conscience keeps going, and it takes some time. I know that still got some right to speak. Still got something that I gotta share with you. Okay, uh, take a step back, matter of fact, in fact, if you got a chance, then you better use it to the best. This is what I say for the rest of the muscle so they understand the young kid coming and sharing all the thoughts. This is what I'm calling, boss of a god, coming from a king, coming from a king, who needs another king to shit. So they can say it's so deep. I take the with ease and I take the with time. It's if you act with hug me dinner, so speak 5D. This is what we're doing every day on the daily. So it's about to go live with the a vibration, but I close my eyes and I tell. Uh, I close my eyes and I tell spirit. Uh, I close my eyes and I tell spirit. Uh, I love it when I feel your presence in me. Whoa. I love it when I get an elevate. Uh, I love it when I get to reach the highest stage and see the highest. Uh, okay. Uh huh. That was a free. That was a freestyle. Still trying to get into it, but. That was good. <laughs> it's not the yeah, yeah. We can we we can start it. We can yeah, start it. Amazing. <laughs> we're good. Let me. I didn't think I was gonna freestyle. Uh, 
I was hoping I'd have conversations, but it's okay. Well, every, <laughs> everything's spontaneous here, so I just had to put you on every, the spot. Every, every, everything is spontaneous. Yeah. Spontaneous, creative, intuitive, imaginative. I still can't pull yeah. this one thing up. Let me see here. No, I still can't. You can't do it? I can't what, pull it up. Freestyle? Oh, no, no, no. I, I could try that. I can't do it right now. I got a little shaken. I got a little tested by the universe this morning. I was on another show, and I got I got thrown off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. I still can't see it. So I can't I can see their comments up here on the screen. Uh we got Laurel Gale. She says Groovin. Uh Vine, yeah. Tasmania, Aline from Norway. Let's see what else we got here. Yeah. Well, 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 well happy to have well, happy yeah. to have them here. So yeah, I was just uh outside taking a break between shows, trying to stabilize and balance and um mm -hmm. I pulled up my my uh, notifications and I had a uh, I had a uh, a uh, a memory pop up from Hippie Ike called "Let Just Be," <laughs> just be, yeah. yeah, yeah. So and then I was thinking, like, I don't even know when. Uh, I think it would have been about a year and a half ago when I first ran into you. I don't know, but we just hit it off. I don't know if I was seeing some of your poetry or what was going on, and mm -hmm. then. Uh, I started sharing your stuff and then I next thing I noticed like you know 50 of my friends were your friends and that's how we do this thing. Yeah. It, so, it was uh, so funny. Huh? I'm saying it's so funny how it all happened cuz I I remember how how we got to be friends. Uh yeah. I was like I was I was scrolling through a page on Facebook, actually a group, one of the spiritual groups on Facebook and I saw you doing your own freestyle there rapping and I was so drawn to it. Like, I love the energy and I love the message that you were sending out with your, with your rest. So immediately it was like, bam. <laughs> and then, bam. Yeah. 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 Very cool. So, you know, I don't know if, uh, you know, give a little backdrop. A lot of people know you in the Sology community. Uh, I know you're over there in Botswana. I think yeah. you're, I want to guess that you're like 19 or 20. How old are you? Nope. <laughs> I'm actually 21 years old. Age. 21. 21 yeah. years old. Yeah. I went on my son's page the other day and he was your friend. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Dante. I, yeah. I knew. Uh, yeah. So uh yeah, man. How did this how did this happen to you? We've never talked about this. How did this happen to you? You yeah. started uh, yeah. I saw you doing videos and writing stuff talking about the God in you, uh, just the yeah. way you talk, the way you write. Um, you know, I think I remember seeing some stuff early on where you went through some, uh, you went through some like uh, dark nights of the soul or something, and you were just like, yeah, putting it out there. I mean, did you did you have something occur to you that woke you up, or what happened? Yeah, actually, <laughs> I was thinking about that the other day. Uh, the root source of it is like uh basically a heartbreak that i had you know i was with somebody in a relationship with somebody at that time that was back in 2014 it, it ended in 2014 and uh immediately after it ended i seen a whole lot of change in me i started to question a whole lot of things i realized that it was my mistake that like caused the whole thing to happen so i looked within so that i could like I used my mind to look at things so that I could understand what was really happening because I was still a kid then. I was, I think I was probably, probably 17, 17, yeah, 17. So that's when I, I got attracted to spirituality because I was, I was asking literally questions that were challenging that I needed to know about. And, uh, uh, I remember, I guess, I guess me asking those questions. Uh, somehow attracted the answers to me. And uh, I remember one time you were in class on a Thursday, because uh, at school back in St. Joseph's, where I did my high school, we'd always read like during the morning. So one Thursday morning, I, I, I ran into um, an author called Neil Donald Walsh, the author yeah. of Conversations with God. Yeah. I don't know if you're familiar with it. Yeah. And uh, yeah. that's when I, yeah. 
that's when now everything started to like unravel itself before me. I started to understand myself more of much more than I had previously. Because after, like I said, I went through a heartbreak. After that, I was like, I didn't know anything. So when I came into contact with Neil, I felt like that was that was my awakening because I had a very intimate connection with the inner with the inner me, the inner star, the inner God. And uh, I got to understand what my essence truly is, and uh, went deeper than deeper than I thought I could have went back then, because I started gaining interest in spirituality. I started listening to to people like uh, a lot of people, you know. But the one who who really like broke the spell for me was when I met Ramana Mahashi's work. And that's when everything became clear to me that it is all it is all oneness and it is beyond who we are or who I truly am is beyond what what I can probably any idea I can probably conceive with my own mind. And that's when I started diving into my, my journey, uh meditating, uh being one with my inner essence and just rooting for truth or, or, or following truth or following what my heart tells me that I, I should follow. So that's how it all started for me and that's how it currently is. So, yeah. so it, all, it all started by the uh, being ignited by a divine feminine <laughs> as well? Yeah, definitely. But, definitely. but you... And you said that uh, in reflection of that relationship that started this whole thing, is it sounds like you took personal responsibility for everything that occurred in a deeper sense. Yes, yes, I did. Because after that experience, I, I, I had a moment of reflection where I look back and see all the choices that I made in my past actually led to that, you know. And that's when I understood that it was... I'm the one who's, I should be responsible for myself right now. And I should take the situation in a manner in which I'm responsible. And I understand that uh, the choices that I made are the ones which led me to, to that position that I, that, I, that I was in. So, yeah. yeah. And you wrote, uh, you wrote a piece the other day. Uh, you wrote a piece the other day on uh, yeah. self-love. Self-love. Yeah, you yeah. wrote one on self love I, yesterday, and I uh, yeah I put a picture I put a picture from uh, the ocean here in Hawaii with it, and people just jumped all over it. You want to talk a little bit about what self love is, what it means to you? Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> um, in my own experience, self love is is the real answer. It's the truth because. You don't love yourself. You're always gonna put other people's opinions and thoughts above what you think and how you feel, and it's always gonna cause pain. You know, that's what I experienced with my own life. Because too much pain came from like listening to what other people were saying or thinking about what other people are thinking about me instead of listening to my inner voice and what it tells me about me. How listening. Or, or not even listening, but accepting myself as I truly am, as who I am, in my own perfectly imperfection creation. You know, I'm not perfect, and I don't believe that every day is, is a human being who's 100% perfect, because we all make mistakes. But one thing that we all have, and I wrote this earlier on, one thing that we all have is room for growth. Everybody has room for improvement. And uh, self-love is, is what helps us flourish in that space and, and grow. So every human being needs self-love in their life. Yeah. It's a priority. Yeah. This is, uh, this is what you wrote. You said, uh, there is something powerful about self-love and taking good care of yourself. You feel liberated yeah. from other people's actions towards you. Their thoughts seem to be nothing compared to how you feel about yourself. You ascend to a higher state of awareness where your mind is free from, from concern, free from worry, and free from pain. I am telling you, my friends and homies, self-love is a very powerful remedy for you. It's free. So test it out. 
So, yeah, you made reference here to, uh, which I think is interesting, too. I want to ask you about it. So you said uh, their thoughts seem to be nothing compared to how you feel about yourself. And I think, you know, I think it's well understood that our worst critic is ourselves. Yeah. Do you, do you still go through uh, uh, moments of self-judgment and self-deprecation? And yeah. so how do you yeah, how do you, you. do it? How do you deal with that? Uh, spirituality, looking within, you know, connecting. To me, everything that I go through, I realize that the only time I, I rise above it is when I connect to my inner essence, is when I connect to myself. Moment, moments of silence, stillness, and uh, observing, observing the thoughts because Thoughts are very powerful, and if you don't observe your mind and control your mind, somewhere, somehow, they're going to control you. So, I do go through that. I do go through that. It's, it's a darkness within me, I guess. And the only time I dispel it is when I look for the inner light and it just shines on that darkness. And I observe thoughts for what they are, thoughts. And uh, there's a separation between the thoughts that are that are occurring in my mind or in the mind, if I may say, and uh, who I truly am, which is the, the awareness and the space of those thoughts that are running in the mind. So that's where I find the true freedom and peace from all that. And uh, the more I do it, it's the more I find peace within me. It's the more I find joy, it's the more I find happiness, it's the more I find love, it's the more I become who I truly am and actually show it to the people without without being afraid of what they might think, which goes back to what I was saying on that post about how when you love yourself, you free yourself from worry, concern, and uh, judgments from what other people, from other people. So yeah, I definitely need to go through, through it and uh, what is uh yeah 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 so so what is uh what is uh the spiritual vibration look like in Botswana with both the young people and and the older people? <laughs> That's a beautiful question. Um, I'm, I must start with the young people because um I believe in the youth. I love I love my peers here. Yeah. They inspire me more than anything because. I don't know that they're, they're different in a way, and uh, they're very really open-minded to receive uh, certain ideas and uh, really get to, like play with them in their mind and create something out of that and understand something and share with the world. Like most of the people that I know and most of my friends and uh, acquaintances usually reflect that. And then it comes to the older generation. The older generation is yearning for change in our country, but I somehow think they don't really know how to go about it. So it seems like to me, my perspective is that the young, the young kids are trailblazing and uh, the, the, the older generation helps us, ground. it helps us be grounded and uh, understand certain things that they, they probably went through so that we can learn from them. So it's, it's a beautiful chemistry out here in Botswana. I believe that this is the land of opportunity, this is the land of growth, this is the land of transformation. And uh, I see it every day outside when I look outside my house, when I step outside. Wow. And so uh, do you see, are you seeing a direct uh, correlation between the things you're attracting to you in your own life and your own spiritual growth? As you as you as you expand, as you expand individually, are you seeing uh, are you seeing the external matching your vibration? Uh, that's a beautiful question. Definitely, I see it. I see it reflecting my state of awareness to a point where it's it's actually influencing me to grow even much more. Because some way, somehow, like the way that I feel right now about the environment that I live in, is that uh, I love it, I enjoy it here, but 
spirit is calling me for growth at this moment. It's calling me to move to a different area where I can, where I can be able to like connect much more to, to it, to self and, uh, work more on, on the path that I've been chosen to work on. So it does reflect and it does inspire me to do more and be more and, uh, do what spirit, spirit calls me to do. Wow. So you're going to be on the move, <laughs> right? Yeah. It sounds sounds yeah. like you're going to be on the move. So uh, yeah, now, it's, now, it's, it's kind of a let to happen. Now, I, I think uh, if if I'm not uh, mistaken, most of the continent, like many of the, well, probably like all the continents, uh, most of your continent has been, uh, I don't know what the right word is, um, introduced, infiltrated by Christianity. At least a lot of my friends yeah. over there over the last few years, uh, and I know that goes pretty deep. Um, but in your in your circles and in in your observations with the younger people, are they as affected? Are, are the majority of them uh, near the vibration that you're experiencing and carrying, uh, or is that a minority? Is the yeah. What you're calling spirituality is that a minority young, among the young people, or are most of them still indoctrinated into organized religion? Yeah, not not only organized religion, but like Western West, Western ideologies of of living. You know, because like you say, the the Western people came into our, our country, our continent, and. Uh, Introduce certain rules and by actually introduce certain rules that were supposed to follow and forced us to follow certain religion. And I do believe that they did affect uh, how they did affect us and how things are currently. But like I say, I'm I'm witnessing because I can only talk from my experience and what I perceive. I'm witnessing a lot of people actually like uh, matching up to the vibration, spreading out the positivity, spreading out the love. Even though they, they, uh, those who are still holding back and, uh, left behind. And I can say that they're in my, in, in, in majority, but the minority keeps on increasing with time. And I, I'm witnessing it all change and people are matching up to the vibration because spirit is calling everyone at this current point in time. And everybody has their own path towards spirit and it's shifting in different ways. So there's so much growth. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Uh, what are your personal thoughts on the words ascension and collective awakening? Do you see that something's happening globally or do you see this as just the way life is? And we're always expanding or both. Um, the way life is because life is all about evolution. You know, and uh, ascension, ascension to me, it's my perception of it is basically shifting. It's just a shift of state, uh, shifting from from living in the mental state, space into into going into the heart and actually feeling the heart essence and the presence of the divine within. And uh, it's constant. It's happening. I was, I was actually talking to a friend of mine. Uh, I met, we started talking yesterday. It's funny how we met. We actually met through Andy after, after the show. Andy oh, really? shared, uh, yeah, Andy, Andy shared like the video of me where I was dancing. And then I yeah, guess yeah. there were friends. Yeah, he saw the video and shared it too. And after that, I hit him up and we started talking. And it's like we, we've always knew each other, but it was the first time we started connecting and just conversating and it was so beautiful. And uh, we were talking about this, that the awakening that's currently happening in the creation of the new earth, how it's happening right now in this current space and time. We're all shifting, it's happening. There's, there might be resistance and uh, I don't blame it. Change can't be a smooth process. There has to be resistance for us to be able to evolve more and uh, ascend into those higher realms. We're just talking about how um, compassion, uh, compassion and love are actually compassion, love and kindness are like the roots and principles that 
uh, are driving humanity into that next state of consciousness and a, a, a way of living, which we call ascension or the ascension process. And uh, from my perspective, uh, it's, it's, it's happening. The whole world is shaking as you speak. The whole world is shaking. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Let go or be dragged. I hate to keep sounding like a broken record, but yeah, yeah. And uh, in simple terms, it's like Ram Das put it: "We are all walking each other home." Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, but do you do you see a lot of uh uh? Do you see do you see talk of a collective awakening? Uh, are, are people talking about it in Botswana, young or old, or both? Do they even talk about it? Thing is, um, it's all happening in different ways. It's all happening in different ways, and uh, they might not be saying there's a there's a global awakening that's happening, but uh, in the in the midst, in the center of it, and driving driving the change to happen in the chair. Like I was saying, I'm inspired by 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 my peers to side because they're basically doing it. Whether it's through their music, whether it's through their businesses and enterprises, whether it's through the the the, the daily posts on Facebook, even through conversations that you have with them, they're always yearning for something deeper and higher, and they always drive towards that collectively, trying to help each other so we can. Uh, be in better positions and ascend and understand and know who we are. So definitely these conversations about that and uh, I love it. Right on. I'm going to start another show. Give me a couple of minutes so you need to keep talking okay. or rapping. <laughs> Just hang on one yeah. second. Okay. On so I, I gotta let me let me let me check the comments to Ben Focus the video talk to the people for a moment. Yeah, hang on one second. I'm just going to start another show real quick and get somebody on, get Michelle on to, uh, here we go, here we go. Okay. Appreciate everybody's yeah. patience. We're just uh, overlapping here, but that's a good thing. It's a high class problem. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, so she's got it now. Uh, okay. And uh, in a second, once she, once I get her started and uh, I'll close the window out, then uh, I'll put on some music and see what we can do. Okay. Got Julia Capelli from Australia. Debbie Denori's in the house from New Jersey. Or girls in the house. We got Miguel Dean in the house. We're, uh, we're looking, uh, and just while everybody's here, here's Michelle. Hang on a second. All right. So let me just tell her. I'm gonna. I need to let her know. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna tell her you are live. Okay. All right, I got her going. There she goes. All right. Okay. Yeah, she's live. Okay. All right. Well, connected. Okay, now we're good. We're good. All right. So we're. Uh, yeah. Let me. Let me. Let me get some. Let me get some music going here. Hang on a second. No doubt. Was the music sound okay on your end when I played it at the beginning? Uh. Could yeah. you hear it? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Even so though it was, it was cutting a bit. It was it. That might be on your end. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you know what? We don't even need it if we don't need it. Hang on a second. Yeah, I was really surprised today because I got rattled on the first show, man. I got knocked off. I knocked, I asked this very potent question. The next thing I know, Facebook cut my feed. <laughs> so the, the, the guest had to finish up the show by himself. I'd never done a show with him, so that was kind of interesting. Um, okay. Yeah. So with there's 21 people. There's more and more people coming into the into the uh, to the uh, into the house, and I want to tell everybody that uh, we're moving real close to this 24/7, 365 multiple channel available on a handheld Sology network. Um, 
we're going to start with one 24 hour uh, live and replay feed. Uh, we're embedding that into the website as we speak. And then three other channels that will run 24 hours a day uh, continuously. So what we're doing is, is we're going to we're going to set this template up and we're going to be looking for people to come on and be contributors like uh, Hippie Ike. Uh, where eventually they have their own channel feed running 24 hours a day uh, with with whoever that contributor is and or their friends. So uh, we're going to build this thing and uh, keep going with it. And with it, we're introducing what we call 5D Commerce, where based on the traffic, we're all going to one place. And we all know that the more traffic you have on the Internet, the more the more revenue you have. Uh, and we're going to continue to do what we've been doing since May, paying forward basically 30% of everything that we bring in to the contributors and to other people who are of like-minded initiatives and spreading that uh, by gifting forward and uh, through the honor system and introducing a new form of, of abundance to this planet. So we hope, I, I hope I've been after uh, hippie Ike for two years, <laughs> two or three years <laughs> trying to, trying to bring them into this uh but you know everything's in divine timing so yeah. uh let me try a little uh let me try a little something here see what we can do just to see see what we can get into here let me see here i'm gonna find something you know what i'll do something different man uh i love the way you and uh you and Andy spoke yesterday you know it was kind of uh the first two that well what y'all did I think it was without music, right? And uh, yeah. I think uh, one of the things that I like to play with is um, different kind of music. I just put on different kind of music and then just start start doing what y'all were doing. So let's try yeah. a little something here and see if it works. How about that? Okay. To me, when I when I put when I put music on, it I don't know. It just does something to me. It just uh, it just. Uh, it, I don't know. It takes it takes me to a place that uh, I can't really explain. Yeah. You can start it out whenever you're ready. Not a hip hop instrumental. Don't don't change it. All music can move the soul. Yeah. Good to be with my friend, Hippie Ike. We're spanning all linear ages. There is no time. Sharing space with honor, love, and respect. Presence in the present. Making it up as we go. It ain't what we thought, it's always what we know. We're Halo from the hood homegrown. So I turn it over to you. You're my okay. brother through and through. A seed is a seed, but it's more than a seed. Because within a seed lies something that the seed can't see. It comes off as an unknown. It comes off as something that it doesn't even think about. But 
for around everything that it needs, the love, the kindness, the compassion, the freedom, the world to be. It grows into a big, into a big giant oak tree. Sometimes we tend to separate the seed from the tree, but we don't really see that the tree comes from the depths of the seed. It doesn't all grow by its own, but it grows from everything that it takes on. The environment it feeds off the sun, it feeds off the water, it feeds off the air, it feeds off the everything in your life. And it doesn't care, but the only care that it can provide is the care to live and breathe out. This life of existing and showing its beauty and what it's been gifted with. And so it can give whoever has a chance to perceive what it's made of it. But in a feeling of <laughs> in a feeling of something that's beautiful and precious. Take me far, take me far away. I want to go within. I want to go within so I can touch the core of what really makes my skin to glow as it is. I'm a black man, but man is really God manifested into something that you can see with your eyes. And what is God if you don't even understand what we truly are? Very Who good. are we if you haven't even took the chance to know what we're truly made of? I got one more for you. I think you'll like this one. Can I, can I, can I, can I finish? I had something to say. Yeah, keep going, keep going. All that I, all that I ever learned is there. All that I ever learned is there. Okay. I love this beat. I know this beat. I want to share something. Okay. Hey, let me glow. Hey, let me shout. Hey, let them know that we all born. Okay. Hey, let me glow. Even though it's cutting, I'ma say what I have to say so you can hear me. Cutting everything that's happening right now. I just wanna be in sync with the beat. Okay, can you just pause it for a moment so I go in and tell you what I feel? I just feel like it's completely getting in between of what I want to say, but I know if I ever get a chance, I'm going to say, show, show what you are, a soul of a God, a soul of a star that comes from above. When you look for things, you see something that's different with you, that's amazing, the presence that you be feeling, Todd. <laughs> My brother, I don't know. <laughs> it's, been, it's been cutting on my end, it's been cutting, so I can't really flow and rhyme and be I don't know, that, that beat, you gonna be, we can go, we can it go. Does. It does, it does, I love it, it's my favorite beat actually, I have it, I oh, love it. Really? Yeah, yeah, I found this. Uh, yeah, I found this. Well, I mean, I think you you know it's Lemon Haze, but uh, I found this uh, this guy, Young Taylor. I don't know if mm -hmm. you've ever heard. Oh, of yeah, him. Young yeah. Taylor. Like I, yeah, like yeah, Young yeah. Young Young Taylor's good, and uh, I don't know if you ever heard of Chucky Beats. I use him a lot, man. Chucky Beats is good. Okay. <laughs> uh, Chucky Beats. I actually love I love vibing to like Jay Dilla, and I know you're oh, into. Oh man, Jay Dilla's. Man, Jay Dilla's my uh he's my favorite, man. <laughs> Jay, Jay Dilla. Dilla. Jay Dilla. Yeah, Jay Dilla's absolutely my favorite. Jay Dilla and DJ Screw, but Jay Dilla to me, I can I can listen to him all day long. He's got so oh, much stuff. Yeah. But uh yeah. no no. Uh, we could you know, as time goes on, uh we can improve the technology. Okay. And uh, we've got some stuff I'm working on. And mm -hmm. uh one of those things is where we have a virtual uh, basically a virtual engineering studio, you know, where we can all go in and, and do our own thing and everything's archived and everything's there. Yeah. We can work on it, yeah. whether we're here together, we're not together. We're a big, big part. Yeah. yeah, a big yeah. part of, uh, 
the whole idea of the Soldi Network is to have an ever-expanding frequency, or adding frequency to an ever-expanding vibration. So to me, adding frequency, mm -hmm. ever, a, adding people, and adding different genres and artistic expressions, and each one of those becomes a channel when they have enough material to run 24 yeah. hours a day with replays and lives. So my channel okay. within the network is Soldi One Studios. That's just my channel. There, there's different channels. And, and that's what I want to do is, is play with the music and play with the vibes and see what we can come up with. But uh, okay. let's get back to a little conversation and we'll go back to that. Yeah. But wait, before, before we get back to it, uh, the sound, the sound cuts a bit. So if I don't hear you, I'm going to keep on asking you to like say it again. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No well, we want to have, we won't even use music next time. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. you know, yeah, Jay Dillon, man, you just you just pierced my heart by saying that. <laughs> I write. I remember writing. Uh, I would write, uh, write and write and write, and then I would go find a Jay Dillon song, and I would just flip it on, and I just start. I just start speaking it, and and it was like it was like it was like magic, man. Every time I did it, it worked out perfect. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, I yeah, even no, put. Yeah. I, I even downloaded. Back in the old studio, I downloaded a picture of the face. Like I'm looking at your face. I downloaded a picture. Yeah, I downloaded a, a picture of Jay Dilla and I put it on my screen. And I, I'd get high. I'd get high, and I would just look at him, and we would just connect, man. And uh, and then I would do it, you know. So yeah, I, I I don't know about you, but many times when I've when I was working by myself and writing uh, lyrics. And that type of thing, I would call in. You know, people talk about calling in the archangels uh, or the angels. Huh? Mr. Last Part, and Mr. Last Part. Oh, I got you. I see what you mean. Uh, what I was saying is, back in the old studio, when I was yeah. writing music, I would, you know, some people call in the archangels and the angels and different divine essences. I would call in Prince and Tupac and DJ Screw Ooh. and Jay Dilla. And I would sit there in communion with them, and, and I'd work on creative expressions. I don't know if I've ever told anybody that. <laughs> um, thank, I'm thankful you shared it with us today. It works, though. I will tell you that. It works. It works. I usually yeah. do it when I go to sleep. Uh, I have this table, and uh, it's been a while since I've done it, but I have this table where I just connect with these beings and, uh, and uh, actually get to learn from them. And yeah, it helps out. Yeah, it helps out a lot. So tell, I get tell me, insight that I wouldn't have thought about. Just yeah, tell me about that. You, you can you connect with what beings? What beings do you connect with? Uh, in terms of on what sphere or just in general? No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In general, yeah. What about okay. the? Uh, what about the uh, where you're from? You mentioned you mentioned the older people a while ago, and you mentioned uh, your respect for them, and that in their life experience, I guess is really what you were saying. I know there's also a lot of oral tradition, oral uh, tradition, oral history passed down on the mother continent. Uh, is there is that still alive over there? Is that primordial, primitive? Uh, organic uh, vibration still alive uh, in the in the continent and in Botswana. Uh, you know what happened here? Uh, ever since you know, there's been, there's been creation of urban cities and rural areas, what we call rural areas, like the home village where I come from and where we all come from here. What we call where we come from our roots and where our ancestors come from. That's where they get to share those stories. That's where they, they're usually comfortable uh, expressing them and talking about them, actually teaching them, knowing, with knowing and understanding that they're passing valuable wisdom to a child so that the child can use it in their life and see how it can benefit them. But in the inner cities, in the inner cities, I feel like we don't really experience that a lot too. Like you say, like we talked about earlier on, a lot has changed ever since, like colonial, like, colonialism came into being in our, 
in our country and uh it had a huge impact. So point where I feel like our culture and our true roots are getting bled and uh they're not being talked about as they should be. And uh while we see it, we, we try to talk about it, but we don't usually know how to go about it. And uh yeah, that's what's currently happening now. Man, you know, one thing uh one thing I really got, thank you for sharing that. Well, one thing I really got, and I look forward, I look forward and I always have wanted to work with you, collaborate with you, but I look forward to many future collaborations. Uh, but, uh, I was going to say one thing that really struck me yesterday, uh, you know, and striking me now, actually, uh, my heart is that, uh, you know, for so long I worked on, I've worked on this and, and for so long, for many years, it was alone. And, uh, and, uh, and so when I got on to the, uh, show with Andy yesterday, I'd never met him. Mm -hmm. And then when you popped in and then you came on the screen, I saw, uh, I was moved to tears and my wife asked me what, you know, why were you moved to tears? And I said, because, <clears throat> because what I saw in both of you was, uh, was a frequency of what people call the sacred masculine or the divine masculine. Uh, that is a, that is, that is not the, the old warrior, the old archetype warrior. It's a beautiful warrior of the heart who has no problem shedding a tear and has no problem opening their heart. And, uh, and I, and I really hope to see more and more of that and provide a platform for more and more of that. Uh, in the future. So I just want to commend you and Andy both, but I also want to ask you, are you seeing, are you seeing that spirit of the sacred masculine heart warrior in the young men, the young men in, in your age group? Uh, <laughs> are you the yeah. exception? <laughs> um uh, yeah i mean that some that some who who embody it and who portray it and uh they embrace it and then that those who hide it don't really want to show it but they love it when they see another human being show it because really when that happens they they reach out and express that and uh that those then that those who who still haven't reached that state of consciousness or awareness and understanding so <laughs> that that that's still on the path too yeah so i'm seeing it yeah i'm seeing it it it's all connected to what i've been saying earlier on about the youth and the, the current changes that are happening more of the few that were there keep on increasing the time. And uh how I perceive it, it's like it's like an inside explosion that's a, that's affecting everything around it and it keeps on growing, growing and growing and growing and growing until it finally encompasses everybody within it. So that's just how I perceive it. Yeah. And how how much do you think uh how much do you think creativity is playing into that? You know, whether it be singing, dancing, other artistic expressions. It's the call. Creative, yeah. It's the call that, because that's where we see the, that's where we see the, the we, we witness the, the ascension. That's where I witness the ascension. I see it in the creativity of these individuals uh, that are speaking out through their creative endeavors and efforts and they're reaching out tapping into something higher than them so that they can bring something that can awaken, inspire, teach, or yeah. catch our heart and just spread love towards, towards them. So creativity is at the center of the whole process. Uh, one of the ladies says here, you have a beautiful smile. And I'm just wondering, just out of curiosity, how do you keep the ladies off of you? <laughs> 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 with that sacred masculine, that. with that open, open-hearted sacred masculine, I know I, you I have. Yeah, I, yeah, I love ladies. I love, yeah. I love, uh, yeah, I love women, and uh, I can't really keep them away from me when the wind are around. 
because no, it's beautiful. It's always a beautiful connection. No, I know, I know. Yeah, no, I know. I know. That's it. Yeah, because I've seen I've seen many of your posts, and and it's very obvious that you have the highest respect and reverence and honor and love for yeah. the divine feminine. There's no doubt about it. Uh, yeah. and I, you know, I'm making a joke about it, but it's, it's, it's really beautiful. It's beautiful to see that vibration and that, uh, that respect coming out of you, uh, towards them, you know, yeah. Yeah. because that's, that's yeah. obviously what, that's obviously a big, uh, you know, a big, uh, characteristic of the vibration the world needs. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. let's, uh, let's, uh, let me, let me kind of wind it down with this but uh you know because i've been i've been really um hopeful in getting some uh from a linear perspective young people on onto the soldier network uh and i like to ask people that come on the show and by the way this is our 669th show so thank you hippie ike for that's a that's a significant number i'm a big believer in the 369 uh, yeah. but, uh, so if, if there's anything you could say to our brothers and sisters, uh, in terms of from this point and going forward in what people are calling this great awakening or ascension or unveiling, uh, what, what would you give us? What advice would you give us? What would you have to say? Um, <laughs> It was so fun. I, lo I love how it's all connecting everything because Sauce actually told me before the show started that what I have to express to everyone is that we're all, we're all just perfect the way we are. We're all just enough as we are. Whether within us there exists any, any, any fears, any doubts, any insecurities, it doesn't matter. It doesn't take away from who we are. And, uh, we should just accept ourselves for who we are and embrace ourselves for that. And uh, yeah, we're all perfect. Everybody is perfect. You're perfect. I am perfect. Every human being who tends to think that they might be bad or who attend to label to be labeled as that and uh, usually feel like that less of a human being. Those are the ones, especially the ones who I'm directing the message, this message to. They should just accept them. You guys should just accept yourself for who you are because in all honesty, you're beautiful as you are. It's what matters is beyond the little mistakes that you made. It's beyond what your mind and the thoughts are usually telling you about your own self because there's a, there's a beautiful essence. There's a beautiful presence that exists within you within every single being, within every single creature, within every single thing that exists and it all is. So hmm. it's for self-love, it's for self-accepting. We need more more of that because society, especially in this current age, society is trying to change who we are, it's trying to tell us that we can't express truth. People don't like truth. People don't like it when you be the truth, when you be who you truly are. I'm not saying, being, saying that you're always right, but just being who you truly are. So when you embrace yourself as you are and understand that you have room for improvement, you have room for growth, like I said earlier on, you have room for standing yourself in your own inner essence, then you get to understand that whatever choice that you make, you make it out of your current state of awareness and current state of consciousness. So don't be too hard on yourself. Just accept and love yourself who you are. It's free. Please. Please. Yeah. And that's a free. That's that doesn't cost you anything. That's free. It's that's free. the best part about it. All right, yeah. brother. I look forward to the next collaboration. Thanks for popping in yesterday. And uh thanks for joining me today. Uh I love you. Keep it up. Put out some videos so I can download them and put them in the channel feed. Some, I will. some dance, some dancing, and some rapping, and I'll go in and download them, and the uh, the team will put them in the <laughs> channel. Feed. I've already got, I've already got like four of them. So, but you take care. Okay. Good night I to will. you. Thank you, uh, everybody. Thank for you so much for having me here. Absolutely, we'll do it again, no doubt.